shroud of the dark side has fallen, begun, this clone war has. Star Wars Episode 2 The Attack of the Clones. So, after the mixed recession, box office success of Episode 1, George Lucas once again directs. But is this movie an improvement or is it the same as The Phantom Menace? Let's find out. The plot is the film is set 10 years after the Battle of Naboo when the galaxy is on the brink of civil war. Under the leadership of the renegade Jedi Master Count Dooku, thousands of systems threaten to succeed from the Republic. And when an assassination attempt is made on Senator Padme Amidala, the former Queen of Naboo, Jedi Apprentice Anakin Skywalker is assigned to protect her, while his mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi is assigned to investigate the assassination attempt. He goes to Kamino, fights Jango Gofet, then he goes on playing Geonosis, and he's ended up ca getting captured as well by Count Dooku. And so, soon the Jedi are drawn to the heart of the Separatist movement and the beginning of a new threat to the galaxy, which is the Clone Wars. <laughs> and also, the, um, the war. Also, they, Padme and Anakin, they start to slowly fall in love. And they're all, so Padme and Anakin, they have to go to Geonosis and save Obi-Wan Kenobi. But they get captured themselves, and they're almost targeted for death when Mace Windu and all his friends show up and fight them off one by one. But no, that's basically the plot of the movie. I'm sorry, I just gave away the whole movie. <laughs> now, what I think of Attack of the Clones is, this is my second favorite in the trilogy. But, this movie got a lot of issues, for sure. First, I want to talk about the good things. The story is fast-paced. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. Yes, the movie is a little bit too long, but... It's Star Wars, darn it. Of course, Star Wars is going to be long. And, um... This movie is an improvement over the last film. But, like I said, this movie got a lot of issues. I love the action. All of the action is fantastic. The fight with Obi-Wan has with Jango Fett. The fight on Geonosis at the end of the movie is just... The lightsaber duels, big battles are just awesome. Like, And then Samuel L. Jackson with his purple lightsaber saying, This party is over. It's just him and all the other Jedi just like fighting like... And then also you get the um, Jedi... Fight. My favorite lightsaber duels are at the end with the Jedi and the droids fighting on play of Genosis and the fight between Obi Wan, Anakin, Yoda, and Count Dooku. Which seeing Yoda fight is awesome. CGI Yoda is awesome. You can hate me all you want, but I think CGI Yoda he looks he looks great. He's fantastic. Now, despite this film being an improvement over its predecessor, the end, I will. Have to go say that Jar Jar Binks is le not in this movie a whole lot, so I can give that a positive. The love story is is the dialogue. I know it's 2002, but it's just like, wow. <laughs> this, it sounds like I'm watching Twilight all over again. But the acting is great. Ewan McGregor is Jedi. Obi Wan Kenobi, he's incredible. Natalie Portman is fantastic. She's great. There are parts where her and Hayden Christensen does struggle with the romantic parts. Hayden Christensen, he may not be as good as Anakin Skywalker, but he's a, he does a decent job. But, there's some parts of the movie where I tell he does struggle. Now, originally Leonardo DiCaprio, Ryan Phillippe, Paul Walker, they were all chosen to play the part of Anakin. And George Lucas passed on those actors for Hayden Christensen. Kind of makes me mad, but what can you do? 
Kenny Baker and Anthony Daniels also does good. Samuel L. Jackson is really great. Frank Oz does the voice of Yoder. He's great always. Tamara Morrison, Morrison as um, Django Fett is awesome. Boba Fett's also in there too. Ian Madara is great. And the late Christopher Lee is Count Dooku. He is fantastic. He is amazing. He's great. The music by John Williams is great. But he was also composing Minority Report, Catch Me You Can, and the second Harry Potter movie, which I will review those. I gotta review Harry Potter, man. <laughs> but his music is great. I love Across the Stars, and I love the entire score, actually. There is way too much CGI in this film, but I don't mind CGI at all. Some of it feels like you're watching a video game. And this movie had a 150 million dollar budget, and everything was just like film. It looks like everything's filmed on blue screen, green screen. There was some stuff they actually filmed for real. So yeah, that's a plus. But between because of the acting, the effects, music, action scenes. Oh, the cinematography is nice too. This movie does get a little boring, but but hell. I, I I can get over that. So overall, Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones is really good, but it does fail to match the status of the original trilogy. But because of some of the great things, I'm going to give this movie a highly recommend it. So let me know in the comments below what do you think of Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'll see you for Star Wars The Clone Wars, both the micro series and the 2008 film in the one. Bye.